Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today I'm going to be sharing with you 24 different activity bags that will occupy your toddler for quite a while. So in each bag, there is a 15 minute approximately activity. Um, and so like I said, I'll be showing you 24 different ones. And the reason I'm doing this is because I have a conference coming up called General Conference in my church. It's eight hours long on the weekends. So it's broken up into two hours twice a day. Um, and how I structure this time for my kids to keep them around, to keep them as engaged as possible, is I do one activity per speaker. And each speaker speaks for about 10 minutes, sometimes to about 20. So um, yeah, each bag is designed to keep the child occupied for that length of time. Or, you know, they can go back to a previous activity, just depending. We're very flexible with it. But Hopefully, this will inspire you guys. I know this is a hard time right now. A lot of people are at home because of the quarantine thing. So even if you just pick a few bags that you like, you know, one day to occupy your child for the morning, then that might be a new fun thing um, that they can do. And this is, most of these things are stuff that you have around the house probably. So yeah, it just makes it fun if you put it in a little bag and put some tissue paper in and let them open it. So I, my kids have had lots of fun with this for years. Um, I have a few videos up on my channel. I'll link down below where you can find those videos if you want to look back at past bags for maybe when my kids are a little older, or sorry, we're a little younger. Um, my kids now are three and four, so this will also work for like a five-year-old, a six-year-old, I would say, and also a bit younger. So wide range of ages for these activities, but anyway, enough rambling. I'll get started and show you what's in these bags. So this is, it just have 12 bags because I have 12 bags per day. And then I just reuse the same 12 bags. So in the first bag is some activity sheets. This is usually always what I start out with. So there's one here that they cut out these, or I'm going to have them, cut out these shapes down here and glue them on the different things. And I'll read this to them at a later time. And then I also have this I Spy printable. I will link these printables down below. I did not create these. So I will link as many of these things down below as I can. So this is an I Spy Sunday printable. They write down how many of the objects they find in the picture. They can circle them, whatever they choose. And of course, I have scissors, glue, and pens in there as well, all ready to go so that we don't have to go hunting to find um, different things that they need. So number two is just a little snack. I bought um, some of those crunchy cheesies and I put a big bag of those in there. I don't think they're gonna eat all those just before you freak out, but. <laughs> Um, but you know, it's a fun little thing. I usually get them a single serve bag of chips, but I had trouble finding that. So we just moved. So things are a little different. So I bought a big bag of cheesies. I got to share some with my husband. So he was happy with that. <laughs> All right. Number three is a scavenger hunt. And I have these little scavenger hunt bags. If you guys don't have this little scavenger hunt game, it's pretty cute. So it just comes with these two bags. And of course, these items will be around the area in which we are sitting to watch the conference. So living room, kitchen, my kitchen table faces my TV as well as my couch in the living room. So it all works out kind of well if they do need to go to the table for something. So Alice's scavenger hunt is simply just some letters. This, this bag comes with different cards, but um, yeah, I wanted to just do something a little different with it. So I just put a letter here and she has to find something that starts with that letter because she's working on phonics right now. If you don't know, we homeschool. So I have a lot of videos up on my channel about homeschooling if you're interested. And then for Tobias, I just did colors. He has to find me something that matches the color. So it's pretty simple. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe, guys, so that you won't miss any future videos of mine. And ring the bell so you know when my videos are coming out. So this is number four. I've just made some homemade Play-Doh, which surprised me about how easy it was. I am not really a crafty person, and so it scared me when I thought about making Play-Doh. And also, those things are not usually cheaper, but this is much cheaper than buying Play-Doh. So I just have six different colors here, and I just put them in individual bags. They can each choose three, and they have a whole bunch of Play-Doh tools if they need or, um, you know, those letter cards. I had those in my last conference video that I made them. So check that out if you haven't already. So that's it there, just some homemade Play-Doh. And I find making that every conference uh, helps too because you know the Play-Doh goes hard. So <laughs> it's like a consistent time when I make it. So number five 
is just two Kinder Egg surprises. They will love that. <laughs> Freak right out for that one. <laughs> Number six is a little craft. So <clears throat> don't laugh at me. This is how crafty I am. <laughs> it's this little caterpillar guy. So they each have some, <clears throat> pardon me. They each have some little egg cartons in there that they can paint. And then I'll put some googly eyes and some pipe cleaners in there so that they can put that craft together. All right. Number seven is this little thing I created. So I just wrote some words on this paper that relate to the conference. It's the 190th conference. Um, you know, CTR stands for choose the right. And then I put the pictures beside as best I could. I mean, I'm not an artist here, but <laughs> this will help them identify what the words are. And then they each have a big sticker sheet of letters that they'll have to just put over top of the letters that I've drawn. So they each have a sheet like that. And this is Alice's, in case you're curious. It's the, this is the year church was restored. Joseph Smith was the first prophet, things like that. Temple up top. And he has his own sticker sheet too. I just used those Melissa and Doug big giant jumbo pads or whatever. I'll try to link them down below if you don't have any good big alphabet sticker sheets. <clears throat> Number eight is just two suckers. They're Coke flavor, I think. So two of those suckers. I bought a whole container of them because I do suckers every conference. And I bought them off Amazon, so I'll link them down below. But I use suckers every conference, and believe it or not, I could not find any suckers in the city. So I was like, well, I'll just put them in stockings and use them for conferences and stuff like that. We'll have that thing for years. So, <laughs> um, Or, you know, reward them for something. I don't know. Okay, so number nine is some popsicle stick puzzles. You won't be able to see them completed, but they just line the popsicle sticks up, and it makes a picture. This one is a picture of Joseph Smith. This one's a picture of Jesus. So this one's a bit harder. So Tobias, and then they can do them and then switch. Number 10 is a real treat. They love these little bear paws. So I put two bear paws in and we never buy them just for special occasions. And then juice boxes are the same. We never buy juice boxes. So they'll be really happy about that. So a little juice box, a little snack. And remember, these are broken up because I know you've seen a bit of food here. So it's broken up like one's in the afternoon and then one's in the evening kind of thing. So it's like hours go by. Don't worry. They're not eating that much at one time. Um, okay, I was so happy to find these. That last year I had them make a shirt and I'm still waiting for the shirt in the mail. Let's pray that I get it in time. I only have a few days left. But um, so yeah, these are fabric markers. If not, I'll just take one of their old shirts and they can color on it, whatever. Um, but yeah, I found these. I'll link these down below because last year... <laughs> I bought these from Michaels, and they are puffy, so they're kind of cool, but they were like $4 a piece or something, and these, this whole box is like $7 or something, so I was kind of mad when I found these, but <laughs> stupid me, I should have looked for them online anyway, but yeah, they're just fabric markers, so they can make a shirt, that was like one of their most favorite activities last year, they had so much fun, and Alice wears that shirt like all the time, and it's so cute, she like wrote her name here, and then did a picture of a giraffe on <laughs> it, so cute. Okay, so this is number 12. This is paper dolls. I just happen to have some, but I also saw that there were printouts online of like the profit and stuff. Um, but these are just regular girl dolls and they have teddy bears that they have clothes for and stuff. And so they're on cardstock paper and you just fold the little tabs over and, oh no, this one's open. And yeah, you can dress up the dolls. It's super cute. Kind of an old thing, eh? Someone gave them to me that had them laying around, and I was like, well, these are perfect. That's a perfect little activity for them to play with. All right, number 13 is just some painter's tape. And what I plan to do with this is just make a road for them for their toy cars. So I'll put maybe some toy cars in the bag as well. And I'll just do a road all over the carpet so that they can drive their cars on. I also used this in a previous video to make a little hopscotch thing for them on our kitchen floor. I guess it's a good little homeschool thing to have around. So that was fun. Um, I got the next one is little two little bags of candy, some gummy worms. 
The next one is I tried to get them a couple of new things too, so they're really excited. It's like getting presents. So I got them two new puzzles. Uh, yeah, 48 pieces. The next one is I got them some new markers. Ultra Clean is super important in our house because they always write on stuff they're not supposed to. But <laughs> I debated even whether to buy them again, but I did. So anyway, some new markers. We'll be excited about that. And then some little activity sheets. There's tons of printables, even if you're not doing this for conference, that you could get new coloring sheets or whatever. Um, so this is to draw the speakers. And I figured if they wanted, they could cut out the speaker it was but you've got all the apostles there and the prophet as well and if they want to glue it on or they want to draw it it's up to them the next one is some hot chocolate which is a real treat for them they'll be really excited about that we don't have that very much the next one is are these little russell m nelson's dolls so russell m nelson's here and then his hands and his legs his arms and his legs, sorry, are in these bags with those little, I don't know what you call these. If you know, comment below because I'm always trying to figure out what they're called. And Alice is like, where are those things? I don't know what they're called. That's what she calls them because I don't know what they're called. <laughs> anyway, tell me what those things are down below because um, I just have them in a baggie so I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, you put them through and sp spread them out and then it makes like a little doll of Russell M. Nelson. He's our prophet in case you're not a member of our church. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, so that's one activity there, and that will be kind of quick. So I also put in a little maze, which is help Jonah. He can't find his way out of the whale, so you have to find help Jonah find his way out of the whale. So that will keep him occupied for that one. Sorry, I just have to change positions. Okay. So um, the next one is I did a bunch of these lace-up cards, and this is my first time doing it. I just laminated some pictures hole punched some holes out and attached a string on the back with duct tape. And then I bought these little plastic needles online, a whole bunch of them, so that they can um, have one for each picture. So I did a temple, I did the gold plates, I did uh, just a Book of Mormon, but you could obviously do any picture you wanted. And then I did a picture of Jesus with a child, so the goal is too with these things that they will be doing them, but also listening. Like last year, I noticed the older they get, my daughter, like I said, is four. I noticed that she does pick up things even though she's like doing something. So sometimes we think, oh, they're doing something like they're not going to be listening. But to me, like I don't mind it because I did notice she picked up things last year and she would say little things and she'd be like, she would just stop what she was doing and look up randomly. My goal with this is to just get them really excited for conference. And they are, it's like, they're more excited for a conference than most holidays. So that makes me happy and that brings me joy. And I think that's the goal when they're young, to me anyway. And then as they get older, we will, of course, work on doing less of this and more just getting joy out of the words of the conference. So the next activity is, again, bear paws. I have two brownie ones, but I got two different kinds. So I just screwed up here. They're I got chocolate chip for this day. The next one is suckers. And then the last, oh yeah, I have two more. So the next one, I'm just going to fix my camera here. There we go. So the next one is they have a farm, a toy farm, and then they have all these magnet blocks. I think they're called magniforms or something. And what I'll, what I'll do is help them build little fences and corrals and stuff for the animals as one activity. And then the last one is face painting. I do this at the end because then I can put them in the bath when the conference is over and uh, we can clean up after that and stuff. I face paint as a hobby and uh, I guess it's like sort of a job when I get hired. And um, so yeah, I have lots of face painting stuff that I just can put like a little paint in or um, a couple little paints and a brush and they will be happy and they will paint their whole bodies and it's always quite the hit. So. That is the last thing of the 24 items <laughs> that, uh, 24 item activities. I really hope guys that you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have and let me know if you have any ideas below for little activity bags that I can do for next conference. I have them twice a year so I'm always looking for new ideas. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you have a wonderful day. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in the next video.